Ravaged by drugs, the shocking, devastating physical toll of drug addiction tonight actually caught on tape hard evidence of the stunning, devastating effects of drugs. Michael, these pictures taken over a decade. We're going to be showing you photos of what happens to addicts. Wayne arrested for possession of heroin and cocaine. These pictures span three years. Cynthia changed over eight years. Mm -hmm, they're cooking up. That is from rehabs.com. You can see the full video and more faces of drug arrests there. We're going to keep this going while we talk about this. It's Take a look at this. It's so hard for me to take in. Brad Lamb, addiction specialist and founder of Breathe Life Healing Centers. I, I, I'm just so distraught. The, the, these age progressions are over just like three to four years. The people look like they aged 30 years. Why? Well, it, it really, Nancy, looks like special effects makeup, doesn't it? But it, that is the roadmap for so many people who are addicted. It just takes you down, mind, body, and spirit. And you see it in their faces, you see it in their eyes, and you see the progression of the disease on them, don't you? I, I, I really do. I really do. Bethany Marshall, psychoanalyst and author of Deal Breakers, weigh in. I mean, can't they well, see what it's doing to them? Nancy, they can't see themselves. And besides, we're just seeing their faces. What about their teeth? What about their organs? What about their mental states? What about the, the propensity towards psychosis, which is the inability to distinguish reality from non-reality? Unfortunately, with this continued type of drug abuse, it erodes the part of the brain that is responsible for impulse control, judgment, neuroreceptor sites are damaged, so the person craves increasing amount of drugs. All of their relationships in their lives are eroded, so they lose their support systems, they have decreasing levels of financial security, and because of that, um, their stress level rises and then they need more drugs. So there's a big feedback loop between them, the environment, and their body that keeps the drug abuse going.